Okay. All right, so here we have Paul talking about uh, fire takeaway. Fire glass. Okay. Yep. So we have here traditional grouts. Those traditional grouts have materials in them that absorb light. Okay. Um, so essentially, it takes away from the tile's overall appearance. Right. And then this is the your your Starports yes. material, and this is standard unsanded grout. Yes. Used in glass. Um, on the other hand, we have star glass, which is urethane star and glass, glass microbeads. Right. Um, what this does is it allows light to pass through the tile. Okay. This gives the tile a nice three-dimensional appearance. Okay. If you look at this on a, on a, a larger format, it'll actually, it looks like the tile's coming out at you. Really? Um, not only do you have the design aspect of this grout, but you also have the performance attributes of a urethane grout. So you get okay. stain, chemical, and mildew resistance. Mm -hmm. uh, urethane's inherently flexible, yep. so it gives you flexibility. Glass, especially, it expands and contracts. That's especially important with glass. Uh, Is also, there any concern with scratching of glass tiles That's actually at all? a great question. Uh, the glass beads are perfectly spherical, so for okay. a glass and metal tile, it's extremely difficult to scratch nice. with. A, stainless steel. A good. stainless steel surface or a glass surface, whereas nice. cement, on the other hand, has sh very sharp, yes, it uh, does. a sharp aggregate. Okay. I just want to keep kind of really getting some close-ups of this. So that, that is nice. Yeah, you can see the, the reflectivity of it. Yeah. Uh, we also have three metallic colors for okay. our, uh, which is great for metal tile. Uh, and this is all suitable silver, for commercial applications bronze, too, right? Yes, silver, bronze, and copper. Um, these actually have chips of aluminum in them, which gives it that much more compatibility. This glass with glass, that you have glass and the metal. So okay. if it's in a metal tile, it, it looks like the metal continues into the grout joint. Okay. Uh, this is also a very impressive <coughs> right here. It's, it's our diamond. There's no color in that. So when you're talking about versatility for a grout, is that what's in this? Or is this, it, yeah, this is actually diamond. Okay, and that's um, that's why it looks like that color is just kind of diffusing to the side. Yeah, we call it the chameleon effect. Much like a chameleon nice. adapts to its environment, okay. uh, so will our grout. Okay, good. All right, what else do we need to know? Now this is again, this is not just you were talking about the the glass mm -hmm. grout, but your other line that we carry too. Can you expand on that just a little yeah. bit? Because we um, love that product. Yes, our quartz lock is, it's, I mean, it's a high performance urethane. You have okay. cement, you have epoxy, and now you have urethane. Okay. Um, it's pre-mixed, ready to use, and it's reusable. Okay. So let's say you have a little bit left over. Mm -hmm. You pop the top back on, and it's a two year shelf life. Yep. You yep. still have the No dye lots either, right? No dye lots. Which no. we love too. From year to year, bucket to bucket, it's completely consistent. Uh, we have guys in the lab that do testing on our sand. Mm -hmm. We use a color coded quartz, there's no pigment whatsoever. Right. So nice. do, they do testing on the sand just to make sure. I mean, the, the difference in the color is so minute that it's not yeah. visible to the eye. So, for instance, I'll just give it. So let's say I get someone in here new that doesn't understand tile. I would say, mm -hmm. let's say we did this with star quartz, which we did not. Mm -hmm. uh, if we did and we damaged the tile and needed to take it up, that grout's not going to match no matter what we do. Even yeah. sometimes if we have the same bag. Because if we mix it wrong, the humidity is wrong, yeah. it's going to change the color. Or the we size mix of the bucket, water. The, the, yeah. the type of the water. But if we use your product, we can set that bucket in a closet for a year or two and reuse it. Mm -hmm. And we won't be able to see it. We'll be exactly. able to pop one tile out and redo that, which is I mean, key. Yeah, I mean, this stuff is stain resistant. There's no such thing as a stain proof grout. Right. But let's just say your wife has a, a, a cup of coffee, she spills it on the ground, okay. uh, leaves it there all weekend, it stains. Right. Some epoxy, you're going to have to blowtorch it out. Cement, you have to right. grind it out. And there's still no guarantee that you're going to be able to match that color. Our product right. is extremely di uh, extremely easy to remove right. using a urethane stripper. Okay. Uh, you can just apply the urethane stripper to the grout joint, pull it out, and then and take the urethane that bucket. stripper is a chemical compound? It's, is it's, that what it yeah, is? Yeah, it's a stripper. It's basically just... Okay. It, it breaks down the urethane. Okay. Um, cool. And you can remove a little section, remove an eighth of an inch, clean it with as, uh, isopropyl alcohol, okay. and then take that bucket that's been sitting in your closet for a year and a half, mm -hmm. and uh, pack the grout joint up, yeah. wipe it clean, yeah. and completely consistent color. Gotcha. There have, been like instances, there have been instances, since we started using this, this is now my favorite grout product, where we have had, say, we've done a kitchen, and then someone came to install a new appliance and they damaged a tile or two or somebody had a cast iron skillet and they broke a tile and we had to go back and I was just you know even though we wouldn't have paid for it somebody else would have mm -hmm. it made it easier on everybody that we used part. this because it was uh, the no die lot deal so we could replace a tile or two mm -hmm. and it made everybody's life so much easier but I'm excited about this because we sell a ton of glass tiles well, that's excellent because and this is this will be extremely extremely easy to sell. Yeah. Um, one thing with this, you have to show it to people. Um, 
it, it's one of those things where if you show people the plug. Let's do it on the wall in the back. I have these two spaces right there okay. in between the uh, stack stone look. Let's see, am I pointing? I can't tell where I'm pointing in the video. Right there. There's two like four foot by six foot sections, three foot by six foot sections. Yep. We'll do some glass tile there, and then I actually have some glass tile, and then we can use your product. Here. Yeah, we talked to Scott. We can. We'll, okay. We're going to get you product for, for those things. Okay, and for the bathroom. Yeah, whenever too. you're ready, just let me know. When I think Jim is ready, but he might not be. But okay. uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll see what we can okay. do. To get that ready. Yeah, because we definitely would like you to feature it so yeah. that you can visually show your customers. Yeah, and it's 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 hard to describe the benefit. It's really hard to describe a look like this right. because that's the first thing I noticed that. I was wondering if it always looks this color or if the color changes based yeah. on the tile that's around that, it. Yeah, that's a great way to display it is take a yeah. tile that maybe not diamond maybe diamond wouldn't be the, the best color to use. Maybe there's a more a little bit more compatible color, but what I like Well to let's look at this here. I'll tell you what I have. I've got some of this. Okay. Would that do well with the diamond or what yeah, would Yeah, I mean it would look great with the diamond. Okay. You, you could go with It would almost look like we got a color match grout. Is that yeah, how it would look? Exactly. Okay. That would be cool. Um, I mean, that's you, could go with, uh, a you could go with a different color, but it's great to display it in something like that because mm -hmm. when you ask the customer, you go, what color do you think that grout is? And they tell you, and you go, no, actually, it's this color. And it yeah. just triggers in their mind, oh, So wow, could you grout. theoretically say, take this and this and mix them, and then it would look different as if you'd mix grouts? Mm -hmm. In other words, I'm trying to get real kind of particular here. Yeah. That would yeah, be nice. Okay, let's do that. The grouts running. Okay. I actually have that tile. You do. Um, I think, or a tile that's similar to that. Okay. I think we use. That would be like our Egyptian glass. Yeah. Okay. That, that, right. I think that's what it is. Is the Egyptian yeah. glass. Well, I'll tell you what. If you, I can tell you right now, for those two spots in the back, if you've got a glass that you want to use, that you with your aesthetic, I don't, I'm, you know, I'm, I like the concept, but I'm not an aesthetician. Go ahead and uh, we'll measure that now, and you can get that, and then we'll put that up and still. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go with um, your uh, star glass. I'm going yeah. to the samples express tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm gonna okay. see if I have. A, yeah. Box or two of is it recycled glass at all? Yes. Recycled content? That's yeah. what I'm looking for. This is 80% yeah. post-consumer content as well. So you need to let me know. We have the Green Festival in D.C. this weekend. We need to get right. four lead credits using this. Well, I'm a lead AP, so it contributes to the to yeah. the project Price based on the scope. waste management, yeah, okay. um, regional distribution. You guys are within 500 miles of Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, low VOCs and, and recycled content. Okay, good. Um, good, excellent. excellent. And, I mean, again, it's because it's pre-mixed and ready to use and reusable. There's okay. no waste. Okay. That's and really the good. Buckets themselves, once you're done, great for you and using, mixing up paint around the house. Trying to get you there. Okay. Um, good. And also, there's no BPA, which is which is huge around. Really huge. Huge now. Huge. Um, epoxy, BPA causes cancer. Yeah. Um, Scandinavia is a country in Europe that just made BPA illegal. Scandinavia, so, men's fair to Yeah. So Sweden, I mean, I, yeah. I, I foresee in the future that <laughs> good, uh, good epoxy becoming illegal. So unless uh, well, they can find out yeah. a way to remove that. And so commercial kitchens, I know this has been used in, I mean, yep. all that stuff real high. You just want to know enzyme cleaners, okay. uh, which is difficult. So we kind of take it on a case-by-case -case basis okay. uh, in the kitchen. Okay. However, it, it, we do have it in many, many kitchens. Okay, good, good. That's good to know. But it really isn't. Uh, for the installer, it's very healthy, very easy to use. Good. And for the homeowner and you guys, low callbacks. And we love it. We love and it. high performer. All right. So, well, thank you very much. Appreciate it. No problem. Thanks.